Last time we finished making our register layout and our login screen layout and I said in this one we were going to get started with the Firebase stuff but really quick I just want to make the register activity and the login activity just so those are done so that once we do start the Firebase stuff there's nothing, not really a ton of code that we need to write. We don't need to start making a new uh, bunch of activities. So really quick let's just go and up to your Java files folder and create a new package I'm going to call it uh, login and inside login we're going to create one activity file called login activity and just extend app compat activity and get your login there so log t and just alt insert on create so override methods on create and then set content view r dot layout dot activity activity login and that is actually all I want to do I just want to write started log and now I'm going to copy login activity so just hover over it click on login paste it and this is going to be oops, register activity and this content view will be activity register and then of course change the tag and that's it that's all I want to do I just want to get those out of the way and then go back into likes activity and change this back to activity home just so there's no confusion later on I want to just make sure that you guys understand we're not using likes activity to log in we're not using likes activity to register I was just doing that to test it and we can also uncomment the setup navigation view okay so now we're gonna get started with Firebase so if you've never used Firebase before it's pretty simple you would uh, I guess like if you're just starting just type Firebase uh, go to you can go to the first link or any one of these will work and you're going to, to um, create an account so just kind of a warning you might you might need to use your visa it's not going to get charged it's only you're only going to get charged if you start using a ton of data you're never going to use that in this app I think they give you like five free apps or something like that as long as you stay below a certain data threshold but all that information is on their website so check that out if you're concerned about that um, yeah so once you make an account you can go to this go to console link right here that was what I had open there and these are kind of all my my projects that I have so far and what we're gonna want to do is I already made an Instagram clone project but I want to go through it with you guys anyway just to show you how to use Firebase make sure you know how to use it uh, make sure you know you make sure you know how to use everything so we'll go to click on add a project and inside the project name it, you just click create anything so like the the one the actual one that I have is called Instagram clone so that's the that's probably the name that you want to use I'm just gonna say Instagram clone 2 since I already have an Instagram clone and choose your country I'm from Canada so choose Canada obviously create project so now that we've created the project you can see up here it has my Instagram clone 2 selected as my project and now we want to add it to our app so we go to add Firebase to your Android app if you're using Android, which obviously you are. And uh, now we, we want to put the package up here. So we need to go to our project. So just this this section right here, I'm inside of a separate package, the login package. So we don't want to include that part. Just grab the whatever your package name is here. Copy that and we'll go back to Firebase and paste that in. And you can add a nickname if you want, but I'm not going to add any nickname. And now we're going to add some security. So this is the SHA-1. Uh, so it's optional, but I would recommend using it. Um, any, any security is obviously better than no security, and the Firebase security is actually really good. So we'll, we'll grab that, and how we do it is we go to our project, go to Gradle up here, go to App. Uh, wait, maybe it wasn't App. Huh, that was weird. Okay, so it wasn't showing me the correct options there, so I, I just hit refresh and it, it actually is showing the so this is what you should see. You should be clicking on your app pull down here and make sure you hit refresh so you see the right options. If you don't see what I see here, just hit refresh here. Android. And we want to get this signing report right here. So we just double click on the signing report and if we go to our Gradle uh, down here inside run, we can see that uh, this SHA1 key was generated. So this is what we want to copy and we want to throw it into our project and then just go to register app and a google-services.json file should start downloading or after, you, after we click on here sorry 
and we need to add that to this path right here so you can see you go to my application app and then you're gonna put it into the app folder so we have our file right here I'm just gonna drag it somewhere where I can get it easily then we so we go back to our project and we navigate to navigate to that directory we just go up here click on this double-sided arrow go to project open that up open up app and we want to put it inside the app folder so I just, I'm just gonna take it I'm gonna drag it into the app folder hit OK and there we go so we have this Google services.json file and once that's done we can go back to Firebase and hit continue and so just following the instructions here it says you must modify the build.gradle files to use this, this plugin so we can copy this dependency right here and you can see that we want to put it inside build script and then put it inside dependencies so let's go to that file we're gonna click on this arrow here go back to Android and did it say the app folder that's the project folder so we want to go into the build.gradle project folder which is going to be we scroll all the way to the bottom this is the build.gradle project folder this is the build.gradle app folder so we go into project and we can see dependencies I believe it was class path and then into here so let's just go back and double check it says build, build script dependencies and put that in there and we can close this this gradle menu here and let's hit sync and let's go back to Firebase here and it says yeah you hit sync and once that's done we can hit finish so once the gradle is done syncing okay so it synced successfully cool now let's go back to Firebase and hit finish so there we go now we actually have firebase added to our app and we can use the authentication database storage hosting functions all this good stuff all the stuff firebase offers this is actually a good place to stop since we have now successfully added it to our project and we're ready to use all firebase's functionality so i'll stop the video here and in the next one we will start working on the code behind our login screen so i'll see you in that next video